For this video, I will be demonstrating neck, shoulder, and back massage for partners. You want to start with your partner seated, preferably in a cross-legged position on the floor. And then you want to kneel directly behind them so that your body is up against that person's back. Then with your forearms, you want to place your forearms at the base of the neck on the shoulders with your palms open facing each other, pinkies down, thumbs up. Gradually exert some pressure downward on the shoulders and then roll your forearms out until your palms are facing upward. Bringing your hands facing inward again. Just reposition your forearms a little bit, slightly outward from where they were positioned previously. And again, with that downward pressure, roll your forearms out until your palms are facing upward. You want to keep repeating this, slowly working your way out to the shoulder joint. And you can check in with your partner to see how the pressure is. The pressure is just right. You can do that several times, either until you may get a little bit tired or until your partner says, that's good. After you have finished several rounds of rolling through the shoulders, you want to reposition. Your partner can stay seated in the same position, but you want to pivot around to the side of your partner so that we'll come around to the left side first. You want to be positioned so that your left knee is on the ground, your left toes are on the ground, and your heel is up. You want to bring your right knee to a 90 degree angle with your right foot flat on the ground. Bring your left arm across in front of your partner's upper chest so that your left hand rests on your partner's right shoulder. This will provide a little stability to your partner so that they won't feel they're being pushed over during this back massage. Then with your right hand, place the heel of your hand on the soft tissue between the spine and the right scapula, placing your bent elbow on your inner thigh, and then rotate your body to exert pressure through your forearm into that band of soft tissue that runs parallel to the spine. At this point we're focusing on the right side of your partner's back. We started at the top, we're working our way down to the lower back, all the way to the sacrum area. You'll notice that I'm really engaging my whole body. In this way, I won't get fatigued as I exert pressure. And my arms won't get tired because I'm using the weight of my whole body. And as you do this pivoting, and kind of have the image of pulling that soft tissue out to the side of the body, or pushing it rather. Down at the bottom you can angle with a downward pressure to draw the hips and sacrum away from the cranial area. And then before you switch sides, you want to bring your hand up to the base of the skull so that you can clasp your fingers and thumb around the neck 
to be able to squeeze the neck muscles a little bit. This just gives your partner a nice neck massage. Just work your way down to the base of the neck. Do that again. If you want to exert a little more pressure, you can bring your left hand up to your partner's forehead. And exert some deeper pressure. This way you're stabilizing their head a little bit. Again, we can check in on the pressure. The pressure is just right. And then just brush out the shoulders and tap on the back a little bit. Just brush out the back. Of course, you want to do both sides. So when you go to work on the left side, you want to bring your right knee down to the ground on the, the side of your partner. Left knee to the back and just start over. And that is partner neck, shoulder, and back massage.